today I want to show you what 3D software I used to use in 1986. But first of all, I want to give you a background of the software. This is the, I guess it's most popular uh, German computer magazine in the 80s. It's called Film Zigziger. Uh, that's for Commodore uh, 64. And it came out monthly. And from time to time, the, uh, the publisher, Macht und Technik, will also release Sonderheft. And the 3D software GigaCat was on one of the Sonderheft. This is the only edition I still keep. It's from September 1987. There's a reason why I keep this uh, edition. So if you open the magazine, it's just like all other computer magazine with some ads and showing some new releases of software and some hardware tips and a lot of listing for typing and also machine codes for typing and it's a lot of hard work and that's the reason I still keep this uh, edition because I was one of the contributors for the magazine this is my program and you can see also some mathematical theory here the difference between the normal monthly magazine and the Zonderheft special edition is this one is much thicker this is the Zonderheft number 30 and uh, unfortunately I don't have the edition where the 3D software was on but I can show you how the magazine looks like There's, there are a lot of machine code for typing uh, if you don't want to do the hard work you can order the floppy disk separately here is the advertising showing you can order the floppy disk and it will cost you 29.90 dmark and here is also a list of the uh, past Sonder Hefter and today I want to show you this this is the GigaCat edition unfortunately I am no longer holding the magazine uh, luckily I found a PDF version on the internet I did type the entire listing of the software including the machine code eventually I got it to run today I want to show you the software which I got it from this CD it has been released by Mark and Technik it has the images of all the floppy disks over the year in the Zonder Hefter and uh, GigaCat is one of the software on this CD ok let's have a look so for the demonstration of the software I'm using my so called the C64 it's a full size case with the emulator inside I've done a video for this before you can check out the link below and this is the start screen I've already attached the USB thumb drive here with the disk image now I'm going to load the directory and list and this is sign number 2 uh, there are other programs on sign number 1 and altogether GigaCat program with all the demo objects uh, occupy 5 sides of the disks and now so I can load the program now and run these are the orders Stefan, Lipstroy and Fuse Maya on the top left is uh, create that's what I want to show you and now it's asking me to put in the, this uh, it is need to load the program again and again the, the memory is very limited so I, usually I have to put in the disk close the door and press the space bar I want to show you the, uh, the rotation object is easier to create here and you can see down here there is a ruler uh, and th this is also the uh, rotation center 
Now let me do a very simple vase. I'm using the joystick here. And to finish it, I have to press the left arrow key. And it's asking me to put in the number of faces. Put 8. This is the degree of rotation. I'm going to make a full rotation 360. And I'm not too sure what that is. I haven't checked the instruction. And this is the name, so I can give a name, I can reuse the object. So it's working now, but there's no hourglass or anything, so it's really hard to see whether it's running something. Basically it's frozen. Okay, this is my small ones. And now I can try to rotate the object, choosing one of these here. Let me try this one. If I just keep on moving the joystick, it keeps on rotating each time. I have to wait and wait. I have to press the fire button to exit here. If I want to rotate the other way, I have to pick it here. And it's very weird that after I click on something, I can't just click the anything else. I have to click the same thing again to exit and move to other place. Now, uh, before I go to exit here, I still have to deselect the rotation. Then I can go to exit. It's very strange uh, menu selection. Now I can go to the multi here. I want to pick the shading D to turn the shading on and go back. Now choose star stern to render the object. So I'm not too sure. I think it has started. Maybe there's a blank line on the top. You can't see anything progressing. Let's have a look at the clock. Now you can see lines are moving here. This is the speed at the moment. I'm going to pause the video and come back again. Okay, now it's going down to the bottom of the vase. It has been over 10 minutes now. Still running. Okay, finally it's done. This is the time. Over 10 minutes. And this is my vase. In the 80s, we were so proud to be able to create such thing. Uh, even though uh, you have to allow a lot of time and be very patient. Now you can save the object, save the image, but I'm not going to show you this. Okay, now I want to show you some of the more complex objects. There are already some demo objects on the disk. and I need to change my disk. There's an emulator. If you are using the Commodore 64, you have to change the disk. A is loading. And okay, now you can see it's quite complex. The, I don't want to render it, it will take forever. The next thing I want to show you is the movie player. So basically, you can use the software to create the animation and save it as a sequence of images. It's called Cat movie. And now I have to change my disk. Go to the next one. And A is for loading the movie. Now I can select it, play as a uh, loop or just a back and forward. I want to play back and forward and H is for showing the movie. It's basically a circle. It's just, just like the donut in Blender. It's just one quarter of the screen because it, it will take too much memory to lower it. I will play some other uh, animation at the end of the video. Okay, I hope I could give you an idea 
uh, of the 3D software in 1986. And of course, the credit has to go to the uh, authors as well, Stefan Destroy and Stefan Filsmeyer. Ah, they are absolute amazing. Imagine you have to use such slow machine to write a program and you have to test it, you have to generate something and wait and wait and then fix your program. That's amazing. So that's all about the GigaCat from my CD. I hope you found something interesting in this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.